Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is the first day after the grandkids have gone home. Ellie has her sweater on today because it was so cold outside. She had a bath last night. In the middle of our whole grandkids visit, we had a baby chick hatch and it was a mess. So our house is still a mess. We have toys everywhere. I'm gonna get to that right now. I'm gonna clean it up. We just finished doing chores. Sophie's gonna do her school. But we wanted to show you guys this newest baby chick that just hatched. And what was wrong with him is everything. <laughs> Basically, he is splay legged, which means his legs are really far apart. So it makes it difficult for him to walk. So we are gonna fix him up again today. But yesterday, just before we went to the baby shower, I put some band-aids on him to hold his legs together so he could learn to walk and so it could retrain his legs. Look, he's listening to me. And then, not only are his legs splayed, but his feet are a mess in the same way that the pea fowl that we had were a mess. So we're gonna try and doctor him and figure him out and get him so that he can walk. Sophie wants to keep him, she loves him, but the problem is, what's the problem? Yeah. I'm not the problem. <laughs> Why am I the problem? You won't let me keep too many chickens. Right, if it's a girl, you would definitely keep it, but that's not the problem. The problem is, put him back down here. The problem is that typically when a baby chick is born splay-legged and with weird feet, it often means that they have other issues that we can't really see and they end up passing away on their own anyway. But we're gonna try and we're gonna do our best and we, it has happened. We've fixed splay leg chicks before. We've only ever had one die to be honest. So we're gonna try and fix him up. Anyway, it is really cute. When it was born, it was the tiniest little thing. It was so annoying, it was screaming. Yeah, it was just screaming and it's just so cute. Okay, I'm taking this off his feet. So so here he is, you can see, see how far apart his legs are, Ellie, no thank you. See how far apart his legs are? And then they just continue to get farther and farther apart. So I'll let you see. See how far apart? They actually were even more far apart than they are now before we put the, the before we doctored him. And his little claws are doing a lot better but it's difficult for him to walk. So I'm basically going to, oh, there he goes. <laughs> I'm basically going to put his, put his feet, I can't show you, but I'm basically gonna put his feet together, closer together and tie them there so that he has no choice but to walk like that. And if he lives, then he's probably a rooster because every time we do life-saving measures to save a chicken, it's always a rooster. Sam is officially looking for property where? Where are you looking for property, Sam? California. California, why? This is too cold here. <laughs> it's so cold. You guys, we can't handle this. Thank goodness it's so late coming, starting this cold weather. Can't handle cold weather anymore. So compared to Canada, how expensive is is California. It's exactly the same. Yeah, we're the same as California. Same amount of property, same amount of money. Yep. Just... Some places got a lot of snow and we got pure ice. It's literally so hard to walk everywhere because underneath the snow is ruts of ice. So your ankles are being bent every time you go for a walk. The sun is out, but it's so bitter cold. Even Lucy and Leo aren't coming out. Their pool is frozen. No, Lucy went out earlier and she sank. She sank? Yeah. Like, I'm not doing that again. It's terrible, terrible weather. The cat is up there trying to stay warm. Sophie, can you climb up there and put this up there? He won't sleep in there. Oh shoot, what happened to the, oh. Just put it up there. The best you can. He's like, yeah, right back at ya. <laughs> put it up there the best you can. Don't smack your head. In case he wants to, like, put it right up, yeah. In case he wants to get in there so he can get warm. Hi, so, boy. the barn would, was warm this morning, and it would be warm. Except, we have this door open for the duck and the goose. So, and they love the cold, and they love sitting out there, but they're not in love with the footing. 
We are one month away from the birth of our baby goat. That means vaccination time. We've given them a CD and T shot before. It's a vaccination. They need it now again because of the possibility, or they need it now again so that they give immunity to their babies when their babies are born. It actually saves us from having to vaccinate the baby. So that is the plan. That's what we're gonna do. I hate giving Tilly vaccinations. I hate doing anything with her because she's so wild. <sighs> I know, that goose, that duck, literally, I don't know how it happened, but it suddenly became, look at its feet. It suddenly became Sophie's biggest love. It loves to be picked up. I never thought that, well, so we see a video where a girl takes her, there's a channel on TikTok where a girl takes her duck to Starbucks all the time. For doing that. Yeah, and this is the kind of duck that would do it. Like, they must be just super loving or something because this duck suddenly just fell in love with Sophie. She runs to Sophie and greets her. I know. Oh, she's scared of you. She's scared of the camera. Oh, okay. She's so cute. Shaking. Yeah, he's probably cold too. He's like, get out of there, I need to come back in. Actually, did you guys know that goats, did you guys know that geese and duck feet don't ever get cold? All right, let's do, let's do, all right. So she knows you're safe. I'm safe. She's a one owner girl. Hi, baby. Isn't she so beautiful though? You just touched her teeth. Those are her teeth? They are her teeth. Her teeth are on the outside of her. Wow, she's like, you see that? Wait, do you see her teeth? Those white things on the outside of her mouth or teeth? They're on the outside. I didn't even know that. I did not even know that. She's like, you're dumb. Okay, don't scare him because he's freezing. I don't want him to be cold. Maybe we should close the door for them, except for they're enjoying the sunshine. Hi. She sheds her feathers and then they get stuck in her nose. <laughs> Look at how opinionated she is, though. She always has an opinion. <laughs> She's so sassy. I really want to close that door so I can be warm, but I also know that they need to have sunlight. It is actually minus five degrees, minus five in the barn. I think that's the coldest the barn's been. Not One at a time, so we just need the pregnant mamas, the ones that are due in a month. You are not pregnant. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? <laughs> She's like a... She's a, what is it? She can get out of anything. Like, Houdini. she's a Houdini. You don't even notice. She's a little fat. But all of a sudden, she's just there. Like, you don't yeah. even see her coming in the door. Poof, she's just there. All right, get Mocha up on the. Well, let's get rid of this thing. All right. Come here, Mocha, up here. Come on, up here. Come on, come on. This is my favorite mama goat. I mean, we only have two mama goats, but. <laughs> You're cheating. I noticed that they're not like. She's grabbing as much as she can. Get up, up. Like, even though they've gotten a lot bigger, I feel like they're losing weight now that it's cold. We give them so much food, so much hay, so much. Like, we give them everything plus extra, and I just feel like they're not. I don't know. I, I see people with fat goats. I want fat goats because fat goats make me not worry. Look at Lola. Yeah, Lola's fat. All right, so. Because she's not a first freshener, her udder might not fail till like the very end. All right, give me a shot. So do you feel her ligaments? My dad's great. All right, so Sophie's going to try her very first shot. And I'm going to try and feel these babies. Did you feel it? Yeah, I felt some. I felt one. So I hate the CD. Oops. What am I supposed to look for? All right. I hate needles. I'm better at Yeah, so they did really good. Needles. So the thing I hate about the CD and T is that it sometimes makes like a little abscess. It's not a big yeah. deal. It goes away, but still. Anyway, so Sophie did her. Our vet tells me that our goats weights are fine and my friend who works in animal welfare also says that our goat's weight is fine
but I still worry. Like, is it just something that I'm going to do? I, th I think the reason I worry is because I see so many really chubby goats. And when you see a lot of chubby goats, it makes you feel like really chubby goats is normal. I definitely don't want our goats to be overweight because it can cause a lot of problems, but I don't think that they're overweight. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Have some grain. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> She's like, well, you think I'm skinny. I might as well eat some. <laughs> that. I mean, she's a little bit better because she, she's... I'm feeling her udder first. Don't kick. Oh, it's tiny. So, a first freshener. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. She got it on her head. <laughs> <laughs> she got the bucket stuck on her head. <laughs> yeah. Her poor little skinny goat. <laughs> she's obviously not skinny, but I just would like a little bit more cushion so that I could make sure that she's doing okay right, so I'm gonna try and steal her babies so I haven't been able to tell for sure if this goat is actually pregnant because two times after she was bred she seemed it seemed like she came back into heat but the buck wasn't super interested in her she was more interested in him so he wasn't like trying to mate with her um, I read that that can be normal so I wasn't able to really tell. Her udder is definitely starting to fill up, but it's not like huge or anything, but she's not a first freshener, meaning it's not her first birth. Did you feel it? Yes. Really big? <laughs> really? So anyways, um, I just felt her babies kicking for sure. Apparently Sophie did too. I felt it again. Really? So anyways, I'm sure she's pregnant now. Yeah, you're so kind when you're all tied up. Yeah, you're getting a shot. Felt it again. All right, let's see. So, definitely none of our goats are going to have triplets. I dreamed that this one had three, but maybe that meant that I'm going to get three babies all together. Oh, yeah. This one is really kicking in there. Yeah. Oh, they're moving. It's almost like I can feel its heart beating. All right, she is all done. Why is your duck here? She got her vaccine. We're done with the vaccines. I'm gonna write it on the board still. So, oh, I know. Her, her, her. Oh, geez, Louise, don't get your. <laughs> it's like she's doing tap dancing. And she's gonna sit down now. I just wanna keep touching it for a little bit so she gets used to it. We're not gonna be able to milk her. Yeah, we are. I know how to milk her even when she's not happy about it. We're gonna have to milk her. But yeah, her her bag is looking really good. It's big, Sophie. It's the biggest one. All right, I can't even take like a picture of it. We're gonna have to come down here. And <laughs> she crosses her legs. <laughs> I don't wanna stress them out it's, because. It's, it's like that big. Yeah, but they are filling up and her babies feel, mm. felt the biggest to me the movement of her baby, so she's terrified. This is awful. I hate that we have oh, goats that weren't her handled belly enough. Looks like it dropped. Yeah, but it hasn't. Do you see her, feel her ligaments? Mm -hmm. So that will get like all super soft. I know how to tell if a horse is gonna fall. I'm so gonna watch on TikTok. <laughs> she's so mad. She's like, I want to come out there too. Trust me, you don't want to do what she's, they're doing. She's so fat. Yeah, she's healthy. Like, that's the thing I don't understand. I know that, that these guys were handled from birth because they're, the owners had a little girl and she played with them and stuff. Okay, back up. So I don't know why they're so not friendly. Okay, I think that's just Tilly's personality. Oh, I just saw her baby punch out. Yeah, that's, they're big. Okay, I... All right, everybody out. Okay. <laughs> you don't get to stay in. Quick. Oh, they want to go out. There you go. I'm going to get some more hay. Well-fed goats are incredibly picky about what they are going to eat. And so I'm in this battle with them where I fill up their hay feeder and they're like, eh, I ate it already for, they're like, I ate it already for five minutes. So, so then they get bored of it and they don't want to eat it anymore. It's not the choicest of the choice. Like they choose what they want to eat when I first give it to them and then they walk away from it. But then their feeders are still completely full. So then I'm feeding them like fresh hay constantly and topping up their feeders and they're never finishing the, the, the feed. Like they're never finishing their hay. I don't know. I don't know why they're so weird. 
But the baby will eat anything. January 15th, one month, you guys, and we're gonna have babies. Storm got a new blanket on. He got a warmer blanket to keep him warm because he doesn't grow a lot of fur, a lot of hair, and he get, definitely gets cold. I've noticed he's a lot more comfortable since we put it on him. We have two different types of horses. One that wants a blanket and one that does not. Don't shoot us! Don't. Sam got a, uh, uh, what are those called? A gel gun? What are those called? Yeah, I got a gel gun for Christmas. Gabby's enjoying it. Can I see it? Can I try it? Don't shoot people. I don't shoot people. I think it's called a gel gun. I don't know. It shoots. Orbeez. Orbeez. Don't no, shoot me. Let me try it. Let Sophie oh, have it a... doesn't hurt. Dad says okay, it does actually, hurt. Actually, that hurts. <laughs> try it. Ruby, Molly, stop. Molly. Don't fall. Fall. Don't shoot us execution style. Poof, we're dead. Where do I shoot? There's like no I know, we need a target. Does it feel good? My legs are so frozen. Don't shoot your dog. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 